she had lips like an angel's. I was so caught up from the beginning, dear. I'm not sure how to explain to you why I'm staring. I assume that you'd know by now why you're here. You take no cream or sugar in your coffee. Either I need more time to get to know who, whoever's behind that book, won't you? Go with me. But all I could say was, Ah, oh, oh, da 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 da. From the Rubber Tramps Rendezvous in Quartzsite. So one of my classic favorite breakfasts is that chorizo wrap with the potatoes and the eggs and the onions and stuff. I'm adding jalapenos today and I'm also adding up some chopped up like seasoned hot dogs and that just takes it from you know really good to really really good and super filling. Champ had one of my burritos. We have got a jam-packed day today. A lot, a lot of van dwellers. I've met a few of them last night. I think there's like already 400 rigs here. 400 rigs. That's crazy. But uh, I'm gonna get to meet a few more of them today and we're gonna do some van tours and uh, check out the rigs that are up. There's a lot of other YouTubers here too, so a lot of people for you guys to check up on. All right, let's do this. Jacob, Jacob, tell me about your rig. What is this? Uh, this is a 1999 Lance truck camper. Wicked. Uh, it's pretty basic. You got a queen size bed here, a bunch of shelving, uh, full size fridge. Full size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Kitchen's well kitted out. You got, uh, you know, three burner stove, oven. That's a propane oven too, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Um, sink. Just a lot of cabinet space, which is. You know, I got plenty of room for stuff. Uh, AC and heater. So I guess you have a generator and that's a solar charge controller. So how many watts do you have on the roof? Right, so I got 400 watts of solar. Okay. Uh, this is the, the charge controller. So that comes down here and there's a little meter unit here. And then down here, I got some big AGM batteries. I think it's 435 amp hours. Whoa. So I'm, I'm set up for boondocking. No you know, kidding. For maybe two weeks at a time or something. Jesus. And you have a, do you have a generator on this thing too? Yeah, there's a propane generator. It's it's under the dinette seat there. Okay. It's kind of loud. I don't really run it too often. And But you do you need the propane generator to run the AC if you want to? Right. So okay. 
you know, I'm, I'm not using the AC at this point, but uh, there's a microwave here. Uh -huh. I, need, I, I need to run the okay. uh, generator for that. Um, I don't know, it's pretty basic. You just got closets. Over here, I guess we could check out the wet bath. Maybe you can pull in. There you go. But, uh, you know, it's got a little shower and the truck came with the, or the, the campers, um, got the winter package. So you got like, oh, you got okay. double pane windows here Whoa. for extra insulation. And, and insulated pipes, I guess then too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the furnace uh, kind of runs ducting all through the, the, the undercarriage to keep it from freezing up. Jeez. And um, I don't know, that's about it. This is like the ultimate adventure rig. In my opinion, I've always thought the truck ones are where it's at because you can separate the truck from the camper, which is super nice, but it's still as mobile as a camper van instead of like yeah, the fifth yeah. wheels. And I mean, it's even, in a certain sense, it's more mobile than yeah. a camper van because you got, this is a four-wheel four -wheel drive, drive truck, right, exactly. You know, with more clearance uh -huh. and, and all that sort of stuff. Dude, I'm very jealous. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a perfect size for one guy. You got a, you know, a big dinette here. I, I just use this as my little office space. And, no kidding. You know, I got windows off to the sides and, and whatnot. And, uh, very, very, very cool. You know, full queen size bed, which is really nice. Uh, a lot of them have really small or, yeah. or whatever. I put memory foam there. And, and you actually have headspace too. Like this is hard to tell in the video, but yeah, there's a, yeah. that's so, like three and a half I, I feet. I can literally sit. Yeah. In this little pocket, I'm I'm kind of short, like you wouldn't be able to, but yeah. I can sit here without. <sighs> that is so cool. You know? Yeah. If I were to do yeah, this all over again, this would be exactly what I'd want. Yeah. Jacob is really good with the BLM spots. He camps at a lot of the off-grid kind of spots, and he actually shares all of those coordinates out of all those cool camp spots on his Instagram. So follow him there. At Boondocking Life. At Boondocking Life. Yep. Check it out. Check it out. Come on in. Hello, welcome to my house. This is a 1985 Casita. It's a 13 foot. And um, as you can see, it's about two inches shorter than I am. <laughs> Aren't they so, always? Yeah. This here, this is the foyer. When you oh, come in. very nice. And after you come into the foyer, this is the great room right here. <laughs> I can feel the greatness for sure. Although all joking aside, it is a lot bigger on the inside than you think it's gonna be. It is, it and quite um, spacious. it's my first RV that I've ever owned. Okay. And uh, so the learning curve has been very steep, mm -hmm. but I have to say, I absolutely lo love this place here. Yeah. I love this house. I love, you know, my tiny home. Um, it's cozy. It's, it, it's a little cluttered. Um, <laughs> so basically when I cook, what I do is I take this, like these are my two, uh, I have, food in here and these are all condiments and coffee and stuff mm -hmm. and I just put them on the side of the bed and then I cook and then this actually is kind of my table and I'll put it on my lap oh, okay and so I can just sit right where you're at right there I sit in the corner I have a nice pillow and I'll just sit there and I'll eat here is the master bath master bath okay yeah. as opposed to all the other bathrooms in here yeah I have a sea head composting toilet oh okay uh, which I absolutely love. It's the major and the very first upgrade that I made to this. Mm -hmm. um, People are always concerned with the composting toilet, but just as a testament, I don't smell anything right now. Yeah, and it doesn't smell. Actually, no. once you bury it, so what, basically there's a funnel right mm -hmm. here, and the funnel takes all the liquids. And the solids go elsewhere, and then... And the solids go into a bucket back here. Yeah. So there's a bucket, and then up front is... Uh, where the liquids go, mm -hmm. and that keeps it from becoming sewage. Mm -hmm. And so, so you once you keep it separated, it does the trick. And once the solids go in there, you take the super duper handle, put the handle down. Yeah. And you give twenty turns. Okay. And it's all gone. It just disappears. <laughs> like magic. It is. It's total magic. So. Um, mine has a little vent where it vents out, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, that is the master bathroom. To make a correction, the very first thing I did when I bought this, mm -hmm. because a good night's sleep is absolutely essential, I cannot totally. even focus without a good night's sleep, was I bought the best mattress I could. And so I bought Very a good nice. mattress. There's a table here, mm -hmm. and normally the table will come up, and so you can sit here and here. On, 
But because I bought the mattress, of course, you can't do that now. Mm -hmm. It's locked into a bed. But I'm extremely happy. That's how I need it to be. I need to have a good night's sleep. So what I end up doing is I have my little fluffy pillow. Mm -hmm. And I'll sit here and I can eat with my little table. Or if I'm working, I have my laptop and I have my little laptop table. Brilliant. And I can just sit here and do what I need to do. Mm. Um, I have solar. Yeah. And so I have my charge here Okay. for um, my electronics. <laughs> I have a 400 watt inverter and this is plenty. This is- It, it actually is. I wish yeah. I had just 400 watts. That's all I need. And this runs my laptop perfectly. Yeah. Um, and so this is what I use for my laptop and it just, it actually, I bought these really heavy duty Those 10 are like wires. RC connectors almost. Yeah, and so this just plugs in right here. Huh. Wow, you've got a very minimal setup, very small. Yeah. But that is really, you've got all the basics covered in just this tiny little space. That's really cool. I do, and I've been living in it for about a year and a half. And I've traveled all over. I've gone all over uh -huh. the, well, I've gone all over the West Coast. So, and I, what I've found is that as you drive along, there's just an immense amount of places to see every brown sign you see yeah is, exactly is an amazing thing it is and so i see a brown sign for you know the the pioneer heritage museum i'm like oh okay i'm off to the pioneer Heritage. and so you end up going you know like 20 miles a day because you just stopped for six hours at like a heritage museum and and an old you know, broken down barn and you're look, talking to locals. So, um, so yeah. And I have, you cover all of that on your YouTube channel too, eh? I do. So I have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, it's just Bex Cat Herder, my name. Got it. Um, and if you're asking Cat Herder, it's Flemish, right? I, uh, I was going to wonder because there's no cats in here. So I was no, really, there's no cats. I was really so. confused by that for a minute. Yeah. But. Uh, my heritage is Flemish. Okay. So there you go. Cool. That's, all right, well, I'll put that in the description and uh, you should check it out. I, I need some catching up to do because I'm going to hit the West Coast soon, so I'm going to hit up all your spots. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. It's so spacious. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. I like it. I can see myself in here with a serious back problem. <laughs> yeah. All right, head on over. Wow. Oh, whoa, hold on. <laughs> That's nice. What, the chair? Yeah. Yeah, this is an Ikea chair. So I got the full chair. I mean, I was in here so long with like shitty chairs that I wanted like something really comfortable. So now I got this thing. <laughs> no kidding. And it's like got some bounce to it, you know? Man, that's luxurious. I don't know why I never thought of that before. <laughs> Oh, so you've really kept the floor plan open here. You can kind of right. put that almost anywhere. Yeah, so I got, I put the hardwood floors in. Uh, this is a little folding table that I actually cut up an old table and built this thing. Nice. Um, just throw that down. So yeah, I got the sink over here. I'm out of water, but uh, you know how sinks work. Generally speaking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, built this little storage thing for like things that aren't like this big because I have storage here, but it's a lot of storage for mm -hmm. small stuff. So bigger stuff in there, skateboards behind it. Behind the sink here, I got like, I got a Yeti cooler and like a bunch of space. Nice. Uh, Dometic fridge, CF-18, mm -hmm. everybody knows that thing. Oh yeah, there's this. We're That's just nice. Slide out. And then this is like a laptop, so. So you got like a full system, you just lounge back, watch movies, yeah. or work or whatever you need to do. Yeah. The bed folds up. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, I didn't even, like, where's the bed? There we go. Yeah. Oh. Home sweet home. The bed. There you go. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, I got just storage there, and that's it. Nice. I like yeah. the simplicity of it. Yeah. You really, like, I used to save have, the budget uh, for uh, the travel and everything <laughs> else, you know? Yeah, I used to have uh, little scissor jacks, like, to, like the car jack thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's how my bed was uh, off the ground because, uh -huh. like, leveling it out, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I would use a power drill and, and raise okay. the scissor but, jacks. But you found that the ratchet straps worked better? Um, well, that wasn't, that would take up the space. I couldn't, I couldn't bring it up against mm -hmm. the wall, so I switched cool. to these ratchet things. And they're quite small, but they're doing the job. Yeah, and the, I mean, four of these was 15 bucks at Home Depot. So you just buy that, buy the wood, get some foam, 
for your bed and you're done. I mean, you got to drill holes in your van, but, uh, but who doesn't love doing that anyway? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, so you've been around, you traveled a fair bit, I guess. Uh, How long I just you been started in the stealth thing. I've been in here for oh. like two years okay. in my hometown. All right. So now I'm, now I'm starting the whole thing. I'm going uh, down to San Diego. For all right. Cool, man. Uh, URL is uh, youtube.com slash Dave2dvlogs. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I'll share a link to that in the description as well. Wicked. Thanks. Awesome. All right. Done with the van tours for now. Uh, we're going into town. Apparently, I might be able to get a switch to replace this broken one for my water heater. And then I get a hot water again, which means showers and not stinky and i'm so looking forward to it yeah i always get front because i'm the most special yeah uh, yeah well not today that looks really comfortable oh totally it's almost a recliner it's just like yeah. my van oh my god i want everything in this store I cannot get over how much stuff there is here. This is crazy. Still haven't found my switch though yet. Gotta keep looking. No luck so far. Haven't seen to find it. We're gonna continue on our trek and see if we can't find it at another shop. It's really cool though. Quartzsite's got so many RV related things because there's just so many RVers here. So if it's anywhere, it's in Quartzsite. dogs. They have more parking. 20, 23? It was. And so we got the part um, on a shelf full of switches that are five bucks. This one's 25 bucks <laughs> because why not? Um, but hopefully it's the one that works. Keeping the receipt though in case it isn't because that's expensive. All right, we just got back to the campsite, flipped open the gauge a little bit. Um, he was doing some tests on my switch, and we think the switch is actually good. So we're rooting around back here. Check this out. So this is the water heater. If you pull this panel off, you see this? That's a tiny little reset switch. We flick that, flick the switch up here, and uh, it works again. Thank you very much. This is all you. You did this. Mechanical genius for today. Tomorrow you're back to being dumb. Troubleshoot till you figure it out. <laughs> Thanks. Now you can take that out of the switch back. I'll get my 25 bucks back. I'm 